My name is Mike Saunders and this is The Brave Narrative. Today we're starting a series on Love Your Work and one of the things that I've been asked to speak to people about is how do people love what they do. Um, I'm one of those people who I can legitimately say that no matter how pressured and how stressed life gets, I literally love the work that I do. And so I entered the journey to be able to figure out a lot of this for myself and why is it that I love what I do and how could that translate into other people's lives. What's scary is around the world only 13% of people do something that they love. Which is very, very scary and it's something I think we really need to be able to tackle. So Frederick Hertzberg, he puts this idea on the table. He says that you've got two buckets in life when it comes to your job. And the one is what he calls your hygiene bucket. And the point of the hygiene bucket is that you need these things met, but if you ever exceed these, they don't become motivated to you. And then you have a motivation bucket. And the motivation bucket is about, if as you fill this motivation bucket, you become more motivated in life and in your job. And what's so interesting is that the things that are in the hygiene bucket, we are often looking to, to motivate us. So what sits in the hygiene bucket? The first thing is compensation, how much you earn. The second thing is job security, organizational politics, working conditions that you have, the quality of your management and your leadership in the business, and the relationships that you have with people. Now what Hertzberg is saying is that that bucket needs to be met, but it's not a motivating bucket. In other words, it's enough for you to leave something, but it's not enough for you to motivate and progress and to enjoy your job. So what sits in the motivational bucket? Well, it's things like responsibility, job satisfaction, which is really just about making sure the hygiene bucket is full. It's about recognition, it's about achievement, it's about the opportunity that you have in the business, and it's about advancing from one place to another, progressing your career. And the interesting thing to me is, is that very often we look to management to motivate us. We look to our leadership to say, where are we going? What are we doing? How do we just get motivated? You need to motivate me in these things. But what I've realized as an entrepreneur who works for myself is that motivation sits within me. It's my responsibility to be motivated and to motivate myself. And so how do I do that with Hertzberg's mindset? Well, it's quite simple. I look for opportunities to take responsibility. I make sure that my hygiene is met in that hygiene bucket so that I'm satisfied with what I do. I look for opportunities to recognize others and by default, I get recognized in the process. I make sure that, my, that, that I'm constantly celebrating the small wins in life so that I feel a sense of achievement and progression towards something. We look for opportunities, we drive for opportunities, we take on the extra to make sure that those opportunities take place and we advance ourselves continually. We, we learn about who we are and we become better people, better at our jobs, we learn, we develop ourselves further. Loving your job has less to do with joining a business that you might love and more to do with how you approach your every day and how you use that to motivate yourself as opposed to just satisfy your daily needs.